All right, guys, got the dump trailer loaded up. We are going to head to Pineville, North Carolina and pick up about three tons of number 57 stone gravel uh, to lay out, spread in the driveway. Uh, it's been probably 15 plus years since any gravel has been brought in on the driveway for the farm or either house. Uh, it has basically all eroded away over the years and it's time to get some more. Uh, I just went Monday this week and picked up my new Big Tex um, 14LX-P4 uh, dump trailer. It is a 7x16 with four foot sidewalls. It has the three-way gate and many other options. We're gonna talk about that a little bit more when we get back, but right now we've got it hitched up, aired all the tires up, checked torque on lug nuts, aired up the airbags on the Duramax, and we will get ready to roll up to Pineville fill it up and come back and tailgate some gravel. All right guys, time to spread some gravel.
All right, guys, we got our first load spread out. I uh, did not cover quite as much as I thought it would. Uh, I asked for a three ton load out of number 57 stone, but for some reason the loader stopped at, I think it was 1.87 ton on my sheet. I'm not exactly sure what that was about. The dump trailer I have is rated for a 9,400 pound payload and uh, it was below the 12,000 pound uh, towing capacity of my Duramax and well below the 40,000 pound uh, gross combined vehicle weight of my truck and trailer uh, limit with my farm tag. With the uh, trailer by itself, I believe the trailer's gross vehicle weight is 14,000 and I think my truck's 11. 11.9 right at 12 so it would be 24,000 which is just under CDL but I've got a farm tag and I can basically put whatever our number I want on there and not have to have a CDL so I've got it set at 40,000 which is uh, far more than my Duramax would ever be able to pull but have it if I need it so yeah we got about I don't know two-thirds of the main straightaway done uh, this cost about 78 bucks worth of gravel. Uh, much cheaper than the local place. I will gladly drive the 30 minutes to Pineville to purchase from these people rather than the 10, 15 minute drive here local that wanted $100 more per ton of material, which I think was a bit uh, outrageous. So might do a little bit of talking and walking around on the new Big Tex 14LX-P4. P4 denotes the four foot sidewalls rather than the normal two. It is a seven by 16, as I said earlier. Combo gate, so it's got barn doors. It also has the flip forward where it can tailgate gravel like we just used. And it also has uh, where it'll flip down like a regular truck bed, uh, truck tailgate. That said, uh, Big Tech shut down for a few months during everything that's going on, and uh, all the dealers in the state have been in a rush to get inventory in once Big Tech's got back uh, up and running. And uh, I feel Big Tech's might have uh, been slamming these things together to get orders out and get stuff sold because I found quite a few issues with the trailer, and I'm not really happy with the quality of it. Um, especially for the price I paid. This trailer list for $9,300. I added a spare tire, which is about $200 more, uh, plus taxes and all that. I think I was right at 10 grand. Um, you know, there's a lot of areas on the actual trailer in the metal where they've touched up the powder coat with looks like black spray paint. Uh, there's lots of really crappy looking welds. Here's one I just found uh, earlier. I did not realize. I don't know how well this is gonna come out. I might have to wait later in the day to film this, but that corner is real boogered up. So since uh, it's partly cloudy right now and the light quality is going in and out, it's hard to correctly expose my Canon uh, DSLR. I just switched the GoPro, but here's what I was talking about, that really crappy. There's a hole blown through here. This is just rough as crap. Uh, this weld is all boogered up and jammed up and uh, I didn't even grind it down. Um, here, maybe I can show you now what I was talking about inside the box with the hydraulics. Uh, right there, that streak, that light colored streak, that's bare metal where the powder coat didn't take and they didn't even touch it up with paint, left it bare metal. Um, let's see, down the side here, uh, as I said, there's a big touch up spot, looks like spray paint here and here where they touched up the powder coating. Uh, here's the dent. I don't know if you can make it out in the, with the glare. There's a dent here, crappy weld hair, big dent here, right there. That's where the sidewall is pushed in. I don't know if, yeah, you can really see that bow. This side got hit or something during uh, the manufacturing or shipping. Uh, as far as tailgate, there's some spray here, here. Uh, what else? I'm 
That's basically it back here. Everything seems to work fairly well on the tailgate. Uh, some of this is uh, kind of really tight where you got to push in on it. This looks like it didn't fit, so they kind of splayed it open. Uh, really, oh, that nasty, boogery, slaggy, gross weld there, they just painted over and didn't grind down or dress. Uh, what we got? We got a big streak right here. Looks like spray paint touch up. Got all kinds of scratches down the rails and I've only had the Degum trailer for four days now. It's nothing I did. Here it looks like they painted over a reflective sticker or something. There's definitely a square there and I can feel it. It feels rough like black spray paint, not powder coating. Uh, what else? Just, I don't know. I just expected a little bit cleaner weld quality on this trailer for the price tag. Uh, but that's the main stuff. Big Tex did. Uh, we sent pictures of it and they are going to give me 250 bucks back off of it for the damage. But, you know, that's not about the money so much as I'm spending, you know, right at $10,000 for uh, supposedly one of the best dump trailer manufacturers out there. And the quality just feels rushed and crappy and mediocre, honestly. But overall, you know, I guess I'm persnickety looking at stuff like this but uh i'm spending that kind of money you know when i heard they had a good reputation the hell if i ain't gonna check over it but uh yeah not very impressed with big techs other than that though i haven't had any troubles functionally with the trailer uh, we just went and got the 1.87 uh, tons of uh number 57 stone hydraulics work great spread it pulled fine going down the highway on the way back 30 minute drive you know no real issues there nice beefy tires steel wheel you know overall you know as a package i'm not disappointed with it i just wish you know the devil's in the details and when you do stuff like this it doesn't speak well on your quality in my opinion but anyway you know that's basically it. We might do a standalone video on the trailer and all the features of it. Uh, maybe not. You might do, you know, a video in a couple months if I've had any more issues with it or anything else has come up, you know, just a longer term review of it. But pretty sure first, first thing in the morning, I believe, uh, I believe the place of the name, the name of the place was Lanier Materials or something like that. They're up in Pineville, North Carolina. I believe we're going to run up there first thing in the morning, get another full load, and uh, maybe try to get another load by 12 o'clock where they close on Saturday at 12, and uh, try to finish up at least the driveway to the curve here. Um, I'm going to be hauling a lot more gravel in because I want to fix the driveway all the way back to the double wide. Uh, this here actually used to be gravel driveway for the front of the brick house and uh, it's kind of being reclaimed by grass. So I want to freshen that up. All this through here used to be gravel driveway and uh, you can barely tell where anything's left because it's been a good 20 years or so since gravel's been brought in here. Uh, but I plan to gravel this all the way down to the pond, which that's gonna be a long-term project. I got lots of trees and junk to cut uh, to get the uh, trail open back to the pond. I used to when I was a little boy, we could drive trucks and tractors down there. We had a road cut in, but after I did some forestry, forestry back in 2008, 2009, uh, it got all boogered up and they piled junk in the road and it kind of grew up and uh, yeah, something I need to take care of. But other than that, driveway is looking much better. It is spotty because uh, we didn't get much material, but all we got to do is take ourselves back up there. Like I said, I think it was $40 per ton. And uh, the local place, uh, the closest was uh, over in Lancaster. They wanted $130 a ton for the same number 57 stone gravel, which I think is highway robbery. So of course I'm gonna drive to Pineville. So probably gonna end the video out here. Don't know if we are going to make this a standalone video or if I'm gonna add the second trip tomorrow to Pineville into this video or maybe make it a second video i'm not sure how much material i've filmed i'll see when i get to editing it uh, either way thank you for 
watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.